Just ahead on WRL TV News, tornadoes rip through eastern North Carolina overnight, leaving a path of death and destruction. We have a team of reporters covering the story from Wake County to Nash, Franklin, and Halifax. And we'll have several live reports on damage and shelters. A complete report next on a special edition of the WRAL Morning News. WRAL TV, Raleigh, Durham, Fayetteville. From WRAL-TV, John Hudson with news, Dave Icorn weather, and the Morning Farm Report. WRAL-TV News this morning. Okay. Hi, I see your head. Your okay. Digging through the rubble, searching for victims of what has been a nightmare for many North Carolinians. As many as five people are reported dead, dozens of others injured, and buildings have been leveled by tornadoes that ripped through eastern North Carolina just after 1 a.m. Good morning. The National Weather Service isn't saying just how many tornadoes touched down in Raleigh and the surrounding area, but what we do know is the storms began destroying property around 1 o'clock this morning. First reports of damage came in from the northern part of the capital capital city around Six Forks Road, Lead Mine, and Pleasant Valley. From Wake County, the twister made its way to Franklin County and on into Halifax County. At this hour, Raleigh police are asking you to stay off the roads that have been hit by the storms. Police say the critical areas are Highway 50, Creedmoor Road, Six Forks Road, and any other place where there has been damage. Also, all Halifax County schools have been closed today. Charlie Gaddy was among the first reporters at the scene in North Raleigh. He's been there all night. He joins us now from a command post at the Town Ridge Shopping Center in North Raleigh. Charlie? John, it was unbelievable when we drove in here. We were coming in here with the firemen and the rescue people at the same time. We were that early. It was just after 1.30 when we arrived. And as you can see behind me, this part of the shopping center is gone. Town Ridge is built in an L, as you know, John. Half of the L has vanished. And to give you an idea, this is what we saw when we arrived. see it you know come through the, the uh, clouds and it was just like a steamroller coming through and it sounded like about a hundred freight trains at one time this is what's left of half of town ridge shopping center and this is all that's left of kmart there were four people working in kmart when the tornado hit the miracle is that all four of them are alive did you just recall for me what happened and oh my goodness um well i was walking toward the back of the store and i heard something coming i heard a lightning and i got scared I'm scared of lightning anyways and i got toward the back of the store and i heard a boom and i heard a crash toward the front of the store of the windows and um i went i knew i couldn't make it to the back of the store i started running but i knew i wouldn't make it so i got to the toys and i duck under and that's when everything started falling i'm just lucky to be alive it's just a miracle that there's there's still one in there is, i think is is my understanding three out of four of us are okay Fire and rescue people stayed in the rubble until they found him, hurt but alive. He had not been pinned down, but buried in a tomb of debris. For the first time in over an hour, he saw the night sky and faces who would help him. Just west of us are the Cooper's Pond Apartments. People who lived there walked up to the shopping center. They also had been hit. And I watched all the trees lay to the ground and start spinning around, and I got on the floor and started praying. His prayer was surely not the only one offered up on this early Monday morning.
that is the scene, and uh, that's the way it looks here right now. There must be at least 50 or 60 rescue and law enforcement people out here. They were calling them from all of the communities. Uh, you have seen uh, names. We have seen names of all of the rescue units from every town that had an ambulance tonight. They rolled. Uh, that young man that you heard there at the end of our story uh, lived at the Cooper's Pond Apartments, which is that way. We have Carol Sparge on the scene there to tell us what happened. Carol? Charlie, it is absolutely a miracle that nobody was killed here. Look at the... We interrupt our regularly scheduled program to bring you this special report from WRAL-TV News. Good morning. At least five people, possibly six, are now dead following tornadoes that tore through uh, North Carolina this morning at 1 a.m. As many as 119 people are injured, and we're going to be following this story throughout the afternoon. But right now, we need to check on one thing of very uh, vital interest to many people is power. As you can imagine, power lines have been down. CPNL tells us that thousands of customers could remain out of uh, power for some time now that repairs could take until 5 o'clock. On the phone with us now, Matt Vernon of the Wake Electric uh, Membership Corporation. And uh, Matt, now you serve a portion of about seven counties. Are you having a particularly tough time because of the rural nature of your customers? Yes, John. Uh, we have found out that the damage is pretty extensive in some of our service areas. At the peak of the outage period, uh, we had approximately 5,500 consumers without electricity. Now it stands at somewhere around 1,400. Okay, and is there any way, Matt, that you prioritize uh, the repairs there, or do you just get them as you go? Yes, what we try to do is to get the main lines that uh, bring the electricity in and, uh, you know, establish service as we go along. We have to follow those procedures to be able to get electricity to the home. Any timetable? Can you uh, can you estimate uh, full power restored? Approximately uh, 900 in the road, outside of the Roseville area should have electricity uh, sometime around 11 o'clock. Uh, there's approximately 500 consumers that will be without uh, electricity until later this afternoon. Okay, Matt Vernon, thank you very much uh, for joining us, and uh, be patient with those. And one thing I should go back to and point out is the map <clears throat> to give you an idea. We've seen the, the area hit by the air. We've talked about it on the ground. Visualize, please, this being Raleigh, the tornado-damaged area, including areas along Creedmoor Road. Of course, the Kmart store out there west of Crabtree Valley Mall.